Hi guys, it's Blaze. Welcome back to the fuckery that is my life. Today I'm here with Emma Chamberlain steeped coffee. Chamberlain coffee, I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna try one, but first let me give you a first like impression of like the packaging. So I got a pack of five of them for $10. It's kind of expensive, but I really like the packaging. It's actually kind of cute because it's like, uh, this is Chamberlain coffee, steeped coffee bag. And it has like tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts, which that's kind of interesting. I'm not really into that kind of thing, but like I'm, I'm just intrigued. And apparently it's rich and smooth coffee. It's medium roast, which I, which I really enjoy. I hate when like coffee's like so dark to where it's like, eh, like bitter. Like I'm just, that's not, that's not me. That's not how I roll with this. I like my coffee like really sweet and light. I'm a very, I'm also a very, very picky coffee drinker. Like, like you can give me like, my mom's nodding. <laughs> I'm a coffee snob, but I like I can like tell the difference between like Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, so it's like a little tea bag. You're gonna to like um, simmer it in water and just let it sit in eight ounces of water and dunk the bag for 15 seconds or less for added strength. Steep the bag for five plus minutes. I'm gonna do 10 minutes just to be safe. We'll just do it. Okay, slight change where I'm filming right now. Um, I didn't really like the lighting situation that was going on, but like, I'm opening this packaging now to put the little tea bag in. Not tea, but like coffee bag with the steep in, like, you know. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Ooh, it actually smells really bitter. I don't say it smells really good at first, but then like the bitterness like hit me and I'm like, okay, that just hit differently and like not in like a good way either. All right. I submerge the coffee completely. The water's really hot. Fuck out that burnt. Okay, so I'm gonna like, keep lifting it up and I'll come back to you in um, 10 minutes to try it. I'm gonna try it dark and I'm gonna try it with creamer. I really love it with creamer. I don't like dark coffee when it really comes down to it. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this. I love Emma so much. So the fact that she's actually doing this is actually really, really cool to me. I really like it when YouTubers come out with products because like, it's so cool to just watching these people succeed, like the people I look up to succeed and actually do well in their career and stuff like that. So like, cool. Cause like I watched her before she even blew up on YouTube. So the fact that like, she's like doing so well and like being successful is really cool to me. And yeah, I just want to support her, but if I don't like this, I'm cyberbullying you. If I don't like it, that's just me personally. That doesn't reflect Emma or the brand and make it your own decision for yourself. So yeah, I'll come back to you in 10 minutes. All right guys, it's actually been more like eight minutes, but I want coffee now. I am tired, I'm exhausted. I just need coffee right now. I'm a coffee addict, so like, I just like, I need it now. You know what I mean? So it's like, Give it to me now. Like, I actually started shaking a little bit in Walmart like an hour ago because, like, I needed coffee, like, that badly. It's a real, it's like, a, it's a real addiction, but it's, like, bad. So, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, so it has, like, um, notes of chocolate and cherry. Oh. And then, and nuts. Does she have all different flavors? No, it's all the same. Okay. According to Olivia, Kara, it's just, like, a little minimal. Okay. We watched the video, you can already know. Okay, I hate a dark, no. Uh-uh, I need creamer. It just tastes like standard, nope. it just tastes like standard coffee dark and without any sugar. So I'm gonna go grab some creamer. I only have like regular creamer and then like caramel macchiato, which I wanna use that for this one. So let's just, do it. Got my creamer. Not sponsored, but like- You can! Not... Especially at Christmas time. How many pumpkin spices did you buy? Way too many. And I get like really, really light and creamy so I, I can like taste the cream. Like I hate it when like people like Dunkin' Donuts only put like a little bit and it's like I can barely even taste it. Don't diss on Dunkin'. Dunkin's good. They don't do that. Starbucks does that shit with hot coffee. Now there's gonna be two brands that hate me. Okay, with this creamer, it tastes really fucking good, like, not gonna lie. Like, I actually really enjoy it. I actually really like it. It's actually not that bad. To me, it's a little, like, a standard coffee. Yeah. It's, like, just, like, standard coffee to me, but it's, like, not bad. I think it's, like, well worth it, because, like I was saying earlier in the video. First of all, it's not hot. 
Well, yeah, I need to reheat it. Okay. This cooled it off. My whole entire thing on it is, um, th for the price, it's not that bad because like a medium coffee elsewhere is like four to five dollars, and you're paying ten dollars for five packets. Okay. So I think you're paying for more coffee in a way. But this is a small cup. Smalls are like two dollars too. You're paying for five. Yeah, I guess. So it's really not that bad when it really comes down to it, in my opinion. I mean, it's good. I like it. I'm not, like, swooning over it, but it's good. I probably want to buy it again unless someone else bought it for me, to be honest. Like, it's, like, not, like, amazing, but then again, it's, like, what can you really do with much coffee? Like, it just kind of tastes like standard. Like, I'd say it's a lot better than, like, 7-Eleven kind of coffee. Yeah. But it's not as good as, like, Dunkin' or, like, Phil's. I didn't really get You didn't try Phil's when we were in California, but I loved Phil's. It was actually really good. It's, like, an in-between of, like, Starbucks. I remember you telling me. It was actually really, really good. I love Phil's. I really, I really love iced coffee, so... I think that's why I'm like really kind of picky about hot coffee because I really do love iced coffee and this is hot so right. it's different. I only really drink hot coffee when I'm here and like home and like I just need coffee. That is true. That's the only time I ever order it. Oh, missies. Yeah. Like if we're, or if we're over at someone's house, I'll only drink hot coffee. But if we're going out and buying like Dunkin' or like Starbucks or like 7-Eleven, I try to make it iced coffee as much as possible. So that cold coffee like hits differently in like the best ways possible. I wonder how, though, like, she designed it. I think she got a company to help her. That could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know how YouTubers do that stuff, but, like, it, that's just how I think it is. I mean, because you gotta, like, grow coffee beans and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it's also from three different countries, the coffee beans. And I think it's, like, so original for her to make coffee. We were talking about this in the car, like, earlier. I was like, I think it's so original how, like, she's actually making coffee. A lot of YouTubers just make books and then, like, makeup palettes. And then, like, now it's just music. And now, like, I feel like it's so original, the fact that they're, like, that she actually makes coffee. That is true. That's awesome. It's so different. That's why I think it's so interesting and why there's, like, such a buzz around this. Because it's, it's interesting. People are like, wait, this is different. Like, we need to try it, like, now. Right. Rather than... I mean, you did it. Exactly. Rather than, like, a YouTuber being, like, putting on a book and be like, oh, just another YouTuber book. <laughs> Olivia really liked it, so that's why you did it. Cause like her and I are like similar with coffee tastes. Cause yeah. I was watching that video and I was like, she likes, she loves iced coffee. She like likes it really creamy and sugary. So I'm like, literally, if she liked it, I'll probably like it. And I like it. It's not as good. I don't like it as much as she did. I feel like, but I liked it. Right. Like, would I buy it again? Maybe. That's my kind of takes on it. Maybe. Would I accept it as a gift? Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I feel the same way. Like, I probably. I don't know, like, I feel bad for Santa because I do love Emma, like, she's, like, one of my favorite YouTubers. I know she is. But, like, I gotta be real honest when it comes to this kind of stuff. Cause, yeah, you're so, good. Yeah. Yep, yep. If I don't like something, I'll say it, like, right away. Well, thank you for letting me taste it. No problem. Thank you for being in my video. I love you. I love you, too. So, yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that little taste testing video. Thank you to my mom for joining me in this video just randomly. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. YouTube really sucks over small channels. So, like, the fact that you're even subscribing, liking, and maybe even commenting would really help me a lot to help me grow. Yeah, make sure to follow all my social medias. Links will be down below. Love you guys so, so much. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Hood, baby, she. Whoa, whoa. Hood, baby, she. Whoa, whoa.